in this video i will discuss about map entered variable or mev method this is also known as mev technique this is another method to simplify the given boolean expression as we know in previous lectures we can simplify the given boolean expression using cornoff map likewise map entered variable is another method to simplify the boolean expression in k map if variable size increases beyond 4 it is difficult to simplify in such cases mev method that is map entered variable method is used which increase effective size of k map using mev technique it is possible to use smaller map to handle more number of variables it means that suppose if we have four variables if i use k map i need to use four variable k map which consists of 16 cells so instead of that i can use three variable k map which consists of only eight cells and another variable i will use it as map entered variable so that is possible in case of mev method as we know in k map the cells may have zero one or don't care but in mev map the cells that is cells of the k map contains zero or one or don't care along with this it contains a variable that variable can be entered in the map in the k map therefore mev is also known as variable entered map or vem so to simplify the given in boolean expression using mev method we need to follow some rules let me explain the rules now that is rules to enter mapped variable in k map as i said in mev map we supposed to enter one variable in the k map along with zero one or don't care so now we'll see how to enter those variables or what are the rules we supposed to follow to enter the variable into the k map we'll take rule number one suppose value of mev is zero and one but the function value is zero in both the cases so in this case the entry in the mev map supposed to be zero for these two cases that is if value of mev is zero f is also zero and if value of mev is one but f is zero in both the cases we supposed to enter zero in mev map similarly we'll take rule number two in rule number two if the value of mev and the function both are same that is we can see here in value of mev is zero function is zero and here it is one here it is one so mev value and function values are same so in that case we directly enter the variable i will call here v as a variable the variable whatever we have considered that variable we supposed to enter in the mev map so here in general i will write it as v v for variable similarly if value of mev and value of functions are complement of each other that is mev value is 0 but function value is 1 and mev value is 1 but function value is 0 in that case we can write the complement of the variable here i will take v bar v for variable whatever variable we have considered its complement we supposed to enter in mev map similarly if the function value is 1 for both the values of mev that is if an mev is 0 or 1 but for both the cases if function value is 1 then we supposed to enter 1 in mev map we'll take rule number 5 if f value is don't care for mev equal to 0 and f value is 0 for mev equal to 1 or vice versa that is f value is 0 for mev equal to 0 and f value is don't care if mev is equal to 1 in both the cases we supposed to enter 0 0 in mev map we'll take rule number six if function value is don't care and mev value is 0 if function value is 1 and mev value is 1 similarly vice versa that is if function value is 1 but mev value is 0 and function value is x 
but MEV value is 1. In that case, we supposed to enter 1 in both the cases in MEV map. Similarly, if function values don't care for any value of the MEV. That is if MEV is 0, function is x, MEV value is 1 and function is x. In that case, we supposed to consider don't care that is x in MEV map. So we supposed to follow these rules while entering the variables into the MEV map. At this moment, the viewer may not understand these rules, but if I take one example, definitely you will understand. Now let's see how to do the grouping or what rules is supposed to be followed to do the grouping in MEV cells. Rules for grouping in MEV kmap. So the first step is group all ones as it is done in case of kmap. So in MEV KMAP, we are supposed to do the grouping of all ones which all are available in MEV KMAP as we have done in case of normal KMAP. Group MEV cell along with ones and don't cares. Group same MEV variables. Perform logical ending operation between MEV variable and map variable in case of MEV cell. Now let me consider one example so that one can easily understand how to enter mapped variable in kmap and how to follow the rules to group in MEV kmap. Now let me consider one example based on MEV technique. Simplify the function f of a, b, c, d. Here the mean terms are given that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 13, 15 and don't care values are 8, 9, 10 and 11. Use d as MEV variable. If we simplify this using kmap, we need 4 variable kmap that is 16 cells. We need 16 cells to simplify this using kmap. But if we use MEV kmap, we need only 8 cells that is 3 variable kmap to simplify 4 variables. That is the beauty of MEV technique. Now let's see how to simplify using MEV technique. First one should draw one should write the table like this. The first column consider it as min terms in decimal input variables. So with respect to our example, here we have four variables A, B, C and D. Write all the variables as it is. Next column take the function and the next column let it be MEV map entry. So here there are four variables. So the possible values are 16. Let me write all possible values. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2 is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 0. These are the possible inputs. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 6, 0, 1, 1, 0, 7, 0, 1, 1, 1. 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 9 is 10, we have 11, 12, 13, 14 and finally it is 15. So these are corresponding decimal numbers. Now let me write how to write the function value. Here we can see that for m equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 13, 15, we should do the entry as 1 because these are the min terms. And for 8, 9, 10, 11, we supposed to put cross mark. Those are don't care conditions. So for the min terms 2, 3, 4, 5, 13, 15, I will put 1, which supposed to be put in function. That is 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 is 1, 3, 4, 5. Next we have 13, 15. For min term 13 and for min term 15 it is we supposed to enter 1 and for 8, 9, 10, 11 are the don't cares. That is 8, 9, 10 and 11. Don't cares are represented by cross mark. The remaining values will be 0. Write zeros like this. 
given in the problem that use d as mev variable so here we supposed to write d as mev variable so i will write here mev so if i consider d as mev variable the remaining variable table, remaining are the three variables so for three variables i will write the min terms as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 because with the three variables we have 2 power 3 that is 8 cells so i will write it as 8 min terms as zero. now we will see how to do mev map entry let me refer the previous table uh, this one here we can see that when f is 0 and d is 0 when f is 0 for d is equal to 1 here we can see the same function that is 0 1 a value of m e v so here m e v is d so we supposed to compare d column with f column so value of m e v in this case is d and this is f entry in m e v map that we supposed to write here so if we see value of m e v that is 0 1 and f value is 0 0 here value of d is 0 1 f value is 0 0 for that case entry in m e v map is 0 so now here we supposed to write 0 similarly for here when f value is 1 1 and m e v values are 0 1 now we will see in this table where f value is 1 1 so here we can see that f value is 1 1 for m e v values are 0 1 we get the same condition here that is 0 1 in that case the value in the entry of mev is 1 we supposed to write 1 let me write so here it follows rule number 1 so here it follows rule number 4 just for understanding purpose i am writing here so when function value is 1 1 and mev values are 0 1 so again it follows room num rule rule number 4 that is 1 we supposed to write here 1 that is rule 4 when function values are 0 0 and d values are 0 1 so here function values are 0 0 mev values are 0 1 again it will be 0 that is again rule number 1 so when function values are x x mev values are 0 1 function values are x x and mev values are 0 1 we supposed to write x so write x here this is rule number 7 similarly it also follows rule number 7 so here in mev values are 0 1 function values are 0 1 both are same so when both are same see here we can see in rule number 2 when both are same we supposed to follow v v for variable so here the variable is d so in mev map entry we supposed to write variable variable is nothing but here in this case it is d so this follows rule number 2 so here also it follows rule number 2 this is how we supposed to do mev map entry so this is the three variable k map let a is variable here this is b and c as we know these two numbers are with respect to variable bc and this this number is with respect to variable a and this is also with respect to a now let's enter three variable k map so here we can see that now we supposed to follow these min terms for zero the mev map entry is zero so let me write in zero cell zero for one it is one for one it is 1 and for 2 it is again 1 for 2 it is 1 for cell number 3 it is 0 here we have cell number 3 value is 0 for cell number 4 the value is don't care that is x value is x for cell number 5 value is again x for cell number 6 the value is variable that is d Similarly, for cell number 7, again the variable is D. We are supposed to write D. 
So this is known as MEV K map. Now, now we suppose to simplify this MEV K map by following grouping rules. As we seen, the first rule is we suppose to do the grouping of ones. So here we can see that in cell number one there is one and in cell number two there is one. So first we try to do the grouping of only pure ones. The grouping of ones can be done along with the don't, don't cares as we have done in K map. So here with one and x I can do one pair. The value of this will be b bar c. So here we can find one more one. So this one cannot be do either pair or quad. So I will consider this as independent variable that is one. So this value of this will be now along with row it is a bar along with column it is b c bar. The next rule is we suppose to do the grouping of map entered variable here mev variable is d. So this d can be then grouping with either 1 or x or don't cares. So here we can see the rules group mev cell along with ones and don't cares group same mev variables. So now here I can do the group of mev variable along with don't care. So here I can do the quad that is d d x x can make a quad. Now the value of this will be a as we seen here one more rule perform logical and mev variable with map variable in case of mev cell. It means that here we have considered here we have considered the mev cell. So this we have done the grouping with don't cares. So the value except d except mev variable the value will be a now we have to do ending with d that is a and d that will be a d thus we simplified or we covered all mev variable along with all ones so no mev variables left in this cell as well no ones are left in this cell now we supposed to stop this process now the simplified expression i will write it as f is equal to that is b bar c then we have plus a bar b c bar plus another term is a d. Thus we simplified the given expression using mev method. This is the final answer. Even if we solve using k, keep watching my youtube channel to see more number of examples. Thank you for watching.